the situations where you usually will need a little bit more planning is really going when you're coming from outside of SharePoint into SharePoint. If you're coming from a file share from Google Drive, from Box.com, since they have a really different architecture, you need to make sure that you are going to be setting up your destination the best possible way for success. There is two big things that I want to give a heads up about. The first one is going to be data spread. Make sure of the size that you're moving. I usually suggest per library to keep it around at max 500,000 files. And Microsoft is going to start making it a little bit harder to use the libraries even after 100,000. But usually 500,000, 600,000 is not only good for SharePoint, it also makes it a reasonable size for migrations. That means that you can do easily incremental migrations afterwards. You can control a little bit more what you need to do, you can manipulate items a little bit better. It's going to be less time sensitive when you're going to be doing any bulk operations. It's really to make sure that you are going to be splitting your data accordingly. If you have like 1.4 million documents, do not move them all in one library. That's going to give you a performance hit in your operation. The second thing is permission control. I've seen so many people saying, yeah, I'm going to go for my file share and I'm going to go to team. Cool. And they understand that when you have a Teams, it creates a Microsoft 365 group, which creates a SharePoint site collection, which creates a library called documents and everything from your channels under Teams is going to be in that library. Perfect. So they want to move their files into there. Sharegate is in a position. If we find any explicit permissions on your file share to break inheritance on the destination, and then your files and folders will have the same permissions on the destination. Except one thing, when you're using Teams, the owners are considered to be site collection and min. That means that in your new environment, anybody that gets promoted to a Teams now has access to 100% of the data under it. So if you have a very tight permission control that you need to apply on files, either because they're coming from a file share and have a different architecture, or you're coming from an on-prem environment, and you're now going into a Microsoft 5 group that has the same hierarchy, for instance, be very careful that the permissions that you do want is going to be replicated on the destination. One thing that I can suggest prior to migration, run a permission matrix support from ShareGate on the source and the destination. This is going to show you what it currently has, what it's used to have on the source, and then you can actually make the decision. Are you comfortable with that process? Are you comfortable with X users having full control? on the destination, for instance. That's going to give you an idea of how decide structural decisions that you need for your migration process.